what's up it's your boy 360 Jeezy and in this video right here I've never done this before I never really actually told you guys how I do my lineups so in this video I'm gonna explain it the best way I know how so if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button but it's your boy 360 Jeezy stay tuned With every cut, you want to brush the hair first. Right now, I'm using my Torino Pro brush to brush the hair down. You can get this brush at www.brushking.com. Right now, I got my two guard clothes. My client wanted basically uh, everything to be one length, so I took my two guard clothes with my master and just you know, made sure everything was nice and even. Now when it comes to the lineup, you want to make sure you brush down the edges first. So when you start off edging someone up, you want to start off in the middle of their head. All right. The reason why you want to start in the middle is because it gives you less distance on each side to go to. So if you're going to the left side um, and you're starting in the middle, bam, you could put in that, 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 that whole line on the left side or the whole line on the right side, it's, it's just a shorter distance. Also, you wanna make sure when you're lining someone up that you're cutting off the overhang and you're not cutting off you know, the hair that grows in, which means like if the hair is growing out of the scalp, you wanna, you don't wanna cut that hair off, okay? You wanna cut the part that lays over the hairline. The way I do my lineups on the side is I like to give it a little arch. This is just like a, a technique that I like doing because, you know, I don't like my, my arches to be straight down because it gives it a, a funny type of style to the cut. So if you could, you know, put an arch to the sideline, it would make the cut look way better. As far as doing the C cup, you want to start at the point of the hairline. It's best to use your corners on this part because it gives you the ability to make a smooth C cup shape. You notice how I started at the point and then now I'm starting at the bottom and meeting it to the um, top of the point. I did this so that I could set a guideline and kind of get a visual on where I am. Now this is not the final lineup, this is just a mock lineup something that I'm doing just to just to give it a mock shape uh, so I could come behind it and shape it how I want to at the final stage and you'll see what I'm doing as I go along I'm using my corners um, I don't have to use my full blade um, not every time when you line somebody up you have to use a full blade because you can really cut some areas off that you don't want to be cut off using the full blade so Avoid using the full blade at all costs. Make sure that with uh, lining someone up that you really focus on using your corners. Right now, I'm lining up the back part of my client's sideburn, and as you notice, the sideburn is kind of thick, you know what I mean? So, you'll notice that I'm shaping the sideburn 
into the way I want it to look. So it's all about setting your guideline in when it comes to lining someone up and then just doing detail work and, and uh, shaping it into the way you want it to look. An important part of cutting hair is having the ability to switch hands and use both of your hands. Right now, I'm making the sideburn a little thinner, but notice how I'm using my left hand to do so. Being able to use both hands and being in the right position, it has a lot to do with the way your lineups come out also. Being in the right position and being able to, to use your, your, your left hand and your right hand, um, it, it really plays a big big role in how your, your cuts come out. Um, the way I, I, I figured out how to use uh, my left hand is by actually just practicing, you know what I mean? Don't be afraid to use your left hand, you know? I mean, the more you use it, the, the better you'll be, the more comfortable you'll be at you know using your left hand, so don't be afraid to try it out and you know keep doing it. I was in school and you know I, I was like you know what I'm getting tired of having to you know bend my right arm and having that weird you know position you know I just went on ahead and said you know what I'm about to use my left hand because it feels more comfortable and you know I'm about to keep practicing at it until I get it right and you know what it helped big time you guys so make sure you practice on using your left hand don't don't disclude your left hand don't just say you know what uh, I'm more comfortable this way. It's, it's, sometimes you gotta be uncomfortable to get comfortable, right? <laughs> so in the back, I'm just rounding off very slightly uh, the neck part. So uh, he doesn't really want it boxed. He wants it a, a little rounded off. And I, I really prefer the rounded off look too. I don't really like the box look. Uh, the box look to me is like that 90s look. So to me, I, to me, I know there's people that still rock the box look, but. The box look to me is pretty 90s, so I, I kind of round it off a little bit. So on the right side is the same thing, but as you know, I'm gonna speed this side up because it's basically the same thing that I've shown you on the left side. Right now I'm giving my client a razor line. I'm doing it dry. Um, the reason why I'm doing it dry is because I like that, you know, white chalk line, um, you know, on my client. So I like doing dry shaves uh, as well as wet shaves, but you know, on certain clients I like to do it dry. So what I'm doing right now is laying the blade flat and just stretching the skin with, with, with my left hand and dragging the blade across the skin. I'm not digging in, I'm just, you know, making sure the, the, the blade is flat with a little bit of slight tilt to it and just dragging that, that, that blade down on the skin. All right, YouTube, and that's how you give a crispy lineup. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Whatever cut you guys want me to do, somebody requested this cut and I did it. So in the comment section below, feel free to DM me 
or you know message me or leave a comment on what cut you guys want to see next so it's your boy 360 Jeezy I appreciate you guys for watching and I'm out of here Cheat.